Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. This is Wednesday, May the 6th, and it's 8.05 p.m. I would like to share with you a very important video that I think needs to go viral. But, of course, it won't end up staying on YouTube if it does that. So, what do we do? <laughs> share it on your Facebook. Lots of people either have Facebook or some other kind of something. <laughs> anyway, uh, or just tell people about it. But... You know how that goes. Email it maybe to a few. <laughs> All right. Um, it's called Watch It, Share It, Download It, Share It Again. <laughs> and it's it's about um, the things going on right now. And um, it's put up by American Joe Show. Um Anyway, I'm going to play just a little bit that's toward the end here, starting at the 21-minute mark. It's a 26-minute video, but this is a good section. And I wanted, uh, I just picked a spot and listened. I wanted just to show you some of what they're talking about. Uh, I don't know, the beginning might be more enticing. But anyway, it doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's about biological... Mm, let's say um, experimenting maybe is a good word or creating discovering uh, using and lying and all that <laughs> you know all the all the normal stuff <laughs> anyway here we go these institutions that are polluting our environment and our bodies there was a time when they actually had to fight their own battles. But they've done such a great job at manipulating the masses that it's other people shutting down other citizens and the big tech platforms follow suit and they shut everything down. There is no dissenting voices allowed anymore in this free country, which is something I never thought I would live to see. Uh, nor would I accept what I've experienced since 2011. It's beyond comprehension how a society can be so fooled that the types of propaganda continue to where they're just driving us to hate each other. You want to go to work? Yeah. The woman speaking um, is Dr. Let's see if he says it in here. I forget. I already forget. Uh... Anyway, she says at the beginning, she actually discovered the AIDS virus when she was 25 years old. She wrote a, a paper on it. Fauci made her, um, wanted her to give it up and not let it go to publication. Well, she said, uh, I, could, I could have her age wrong. Maybe she was 25 when they were working on AIDS in Africa. That might have been it. But anyway, at any point, she discovered the virus, what it looked like or something, and wrote a paper about it. Fauci kept that from going to print. And uh, she got arrested and put in jail for five years with no charges. And that was way back in the 80s. Anyway, she tells all about that in the beginning. And then this man who's interviewing her is getting her to share her story of how she worked with Anthony Fauci. And she names some other NIH, I don't know, AMA, you know, medical bigwigs. She's naming names. Uh, now that she's not under a gag order. She was under a five-year gag order. I guess they thought in five years' time they could smear her reputation enough to where right now nobody would listen to her. If you do research, you'll probably find a bunch of fake stuff about her so that you can say, oh, she's, they proved that she's some kind of nut job, whatever, and it had to be let go, and make up stuff. But you listen to her. This is a story she, she, that 
that needs to go out. And they, oh, here's, you know that video that I shared with the ER doctor? Some of you might have missed it. Well, it got taken down off of YouTube. Nobody's mentioned it yet, but here, here they are talking. And we're more susceptible to coronaviruses. Coronaviruses oh. are in every... She's talking about the soldiers when they get inoculated with certain injections. And they give them uh, influ an influenza vaccine that contains four different strains. No, wait, I'm sorry. That was in Italy. That's why the Italians got it so bad. They could have had any number of the coronavirus, uh, the influenza. They got their flu shot included H1N1, which is what I think is going on around here. But that's just my opinion. Okay, here's those ER doctors. YouTube yanked their video down after it hit 5 million some views. The animal. So if you've ever had a flu vaccine, you were injected with coronaviruses and then to put on a mask. This doesn't make any sense. We wear a mask in an acute setting to protect us. We're not wearing masks. Why is that? Because we understand microbiology, we understand Let's immunology, and we want strong immune systems. Our immune system is used to touching. We share bacteria, staphylococcal, streptococcal bacteria, viruses. We develop an immune response daily to this stuff. When you take that away from me, my immune system drops. As I shelter in place, my immune system drops. You keep me there for months, it drops more. And now I'm at home, hand washing vigorously, washing the counters, worried about things that are indeed what I need to survive. You're not, you're not immunodeficient and you're not uh, elderly. You should be able to go out without any gloves and without a mask. I think if you are those things, you should either set shelter in place or wear a mask and gloves. I don't think everybody needs to wear a mask and gloves because it reduces your bacterial flora. It doesn't allow you to interact with society and your bacteria flora and your viruses, your friends that protect you from other diseases, end up going away and now you're more likely to get opportunistic infections infections that are hoping you don't have your good bugs fighting for you if that makes sense and then as we all come out of shelter in place with a lower immune system and start trading viruses and bacteria what do you think is going to happen disease is going to spike i guarantee when we reopen there's going to be a huge huge amount of illness that's going to be rampant the building blocks of your immune system is virus and bacteria end of story Wearing the mask literally activates your own virus. You're getting sick from your own reactivated coronavirus expressions. And if it happens to be SARS-CoV-2, then you've got a big problem. I miss that. By wearing a mask, you can get sick from your own reactivated coronavirus. Yeah, you have to listen to the beginning of it to hear how how many years she's got into what she's she's a virologist and um anyway like i said she's the one that discovered the aids virus which was created to do exactly what it was meant to do kill people i'm going to end it at that i plead the blood of jesus over this video and i hope that it gets shared and it spreads far and wide like the ER doctor video did until it got yanked down um I think somebody has it up on Patreon or, or Brighton on, on or however you say it um but I don't remember who um gosh I don't remember anyway the point is um I plead the blood of Jesus over this video myself and my computer and my internet connection and I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections as well please remember to turn off your Wi-Fi's and cell phones when you're through using them to decrease your exposure to radiation okay with that I'll say bye for now I'll talk to you later and hey the link 
of course, will be in the description box. But if you don't see the links, all right, again, it's called Watch It, Share It, Download It, Share It Again. It's on a channel called American Joe Show. Three separate words, okay? So with that, you should be able to search for it and find it. All right. Bye for now. Talk to you later.